very little money. That's what I've heard. I know. It's pretty crazy. I got to start a live stream now, but I'll... Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining the Atlanta Brick Coast Store Tour today. It is December. It is finally Christmas time. And we've got a bunch of cool Lego stuff to check out. I see a bunch of our friends are already commenting here in the chat. So let me read a few of those really quick. Let's see. Grumpy J. Crikey, it's a rare Mark deer. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Randy brought all the Christmas decorations in. And I was trying some of them on, and they look pretty good. I like the green ones. Uh, we also have Christmas Christmas decorations around the store, too. Since it is December, it is actually Christmas time. So it's pretty cool. Uh, most of our Black Friday sales have stopped. However, there's a couple good ones still worth mentioning. The 20% off built sets is still around. And um, all these sets on the table here are still going to be, what is it, 10% off, Joe? Yep. So a number of select sets will be still discounted. So keep an eye out for those. But uh, T Valker says, save the rare Mark deer. <laughs> I put on antlers for one picture, guys. One picture. No, I think it's funny. Geology Joe says, dear Mark. Oh, dear Mark. Happy December. Thank you, Geology Joe. Hope you're having a good December and a good Friday. Uh, Chris Dodson says, loves the thumbnail pic. I'm glad you guys are liking it. I would th thought it'd be fun to have a little bit of a silly picture. I usually look very serious in the thumbnails. Uh, Lear Brick says, I'm going to be a slow typer today. I hurt my hand after I slipped. I'm having to use my left hand to type. Oh, no. Well, I hope you feel better soon, Lear Bricks. Thank you for joining us today. Morgan is joined. Good to see you, Morgan. Pent up bricking. Good to see you, pent up bricking. How are you doing this Friday? Uh, Grumpy J says, Good grumpical day, everyone in the chat. Look at all these grumptastic people. Absolutely. Good grumpical day, everyone. Flounder says, hello, hello. We just filmed a quick storefront update of OBC. That's pretty cool. Is that uploaded now? Like we can go watch that after the stream? Because I will be tuning into that. I've never even been to Orlando. I need to visit. Uh, who's going to tell him? <laughs> For real, I'm so jelly. I would love to work at a store like that. I know, right? Both Orlando and Atlanta Brick Co. Pretty cool places to be. Let's see. Gonzo's here. Good to see you, Gonzo. Thank you for joining us. Oh, man, the comments just updated. And there's a ton of them. All right. Emmy's here. I'm driving to the store. Well, we'll see you soon, Emmy. Hi, Mark. Hope you're feeling better. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, I am feeling a bit better. I'm coming back to life. I'm not zombified anymore. So glad to be back and doing videos. My voice feels a lot better. Uh, the past couple weeks, I haven't felt so good, but I went to the doctor, got some antibiotics, doing better now. Abby says, it's Friday. Woo, woo. Yes, it is Friday. I'm actually grateful that it's Friday. A lot of things to look forward to on the weekend. So. But uh, Joe, Joe says, yo, Joe. <laughs> hey, Joe. It's not G.I. Joe. It's Geology Joe. I just opened my two Lego advent calendars, Star Wars and Marvel MCU. There you go, BJ. Those are probably the two that I would get to. However, friends... You know, I like Friends, too, although I've heard their uh, advent calendars are a little bit less than stellar. Dust After Bricks is here. Hello, everyone. Good to see you. We like the 20% discount on built sets. I don't buy them for the boxes. Yeah, that's... See, I think this is extremely underrated sale, too, JoJo. I know that people like to build the sets. I like to build stuff with the pieces or own the cool sets that I never had as a kid. So I'm really excited about those savings. Like, here's an Exoforce. That looks pretty cool. Oh, Morgan has a request for us. Uh, a built Yoda, the one holding the lightsaber. So a built adult Yoda, not baby Yoda. Let's see if we got one for you here, Morgan. We should have one floating around somewhere. I see a several baby Yodas. There's two or three hanging out in the case right there. Let's see. There's a nice little gap in Star Wars right here. Maybe some accessories or something going there soon. Always excited about some space in the case. No adult Yodas yet. There's a baby Yoda over there. Anyway, um, Grumpy J says, Sweet Flounder, I'll check it out after the stream. Yeah, exactly. You want to check out the update once we're done with the currently live stream. Uh, Nexus said, Mark, last night Steven skipped the vote. Go scold him about that. This is America. We are a democracy. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, so um, that's their prerogative. If they think that one of the sets is overwhelmingly cooler or more uh, favored by the poll, they do a poll and that really helps decide what's going to be the front runner. So do uh, vote in the polls on our community tab. And that's the best way to get your voice heard, I think. 
Oh, here we go. There's a Yoda. His lightsaber looks like it's a little disheveled. I think it's because that case is not quite high enough for that lightsaber. But uh, he's there, ready to go. He's $99 before that 20% discount. So you can probably remove another $20 off of that. So. And that's about all I saw for adult Yoda. Normally we have a couple more, but I think maybe he's uh, less easy to be found now. Brad P., good to see you, Brad P. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're feeling better. <laughs> Gio Joe, a real American hero. <laughs> exactly. Yes, glad to see you, Brad P. It's been a while since both of us were firing on all cylinders here. All right, so, um, Mark, did you hear about Grumpy Jay's new job? No, I didn't, Lemur Bricks. I hope it's something Lego related, but it might not be. Not all of us can be that lucky. So, Linda Burko's Black Friday sales got me my first Alien Conquest set. Alien Abduction and Expensive Castle Minifig and Dragon Armor. That sounds pretty cool, BJ. Oh, and the $800 certified 375 Yellow Castle in great condition yellow box. <gasps> oh my goodness. That's the cool set, BJ. I was looking at that one. I was thinking about it. I'm like, oh, $800 is just a little out of my for, for fun spending budget. So, of course. But that is so cool, BJ. I'm so glad it went to a true Lego fan. Let's see. Let me get to the new comments here. Brad P's back. The big sale's over. Well, most of it. There's still some sales going on now. So, man, the comments are going faster than I can keep up with here. Well, I forgot how epic Ewok Village is. I have one, uh, but unbuilt. There you go, Gonzo. I might have to rebuild that. I am on the mend. That's good, Brad P. Oh, Mike Edwards, good to see you. Thank you for joining us on Facebook. All right, I think I'm caught up with the comments now. I'll try to stay that way. But, um, yes. That Ed billboard is awesome. Yes. Ed is a classic character in Lego City. Or, um, um, Bricklanta. And did anyone see the uh, minifigure version of Marcel that we threw in there? That's pretty funny, too. Me and Steven are also hanging out with Daniel on top of the movie theater. But other than that, I don't think there's too many new additions to the city. Uh, we're hoping to make some improvements soon, though, because Steven is, I think, currently working on the holiday train since we had the pumpkin train from Halloween still driving around the tracks. So. Ooh, a bricker builds mushroom power up. Imagine just wolfing this down and then growing it four feet taller. That'd be crazy. <laughs> 4.5 stars a level. Creepy Marcel's has been to bring. Yes, Marcel's always. Creeping around Lego City, Bricklanta. All righty. Um, any requests for Lego? We're already eight minutes in. I finally got through all the comments and said hi to everyone. If there's anything that you want to look at particularly, let me know. I mean, Joe is a good example. We can go say hi to Joe, see how he's doing. He's putting up some signs for these specific sales. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's, let me read this here. Holiday special sale. These sets are all 10% off for limited time. Marvel, Star Wars, Harry Potter, Friends, City, and more. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yes. A very Christmassy sign. <laughs> I want to be in Brickland. Well, Emmy, you can totally do that. Make yourself a sig fig and throw it in there. You, If you work at the store, that's like an immediate, um, you know, totally unlocked. As soon as you... Yeah, as soon as you're employed here, you can absolutely put your figure in the city. That's, that's like, required, you know. Bonkle, there you go, Rob Claxton. Good to see you, Rob. And Team Valkyrie asked about Castle, so we can go check out that, too. We're right in front of Castle. We might as well take a peek at that really quick. Joe needs to ship my power miners. Oh, no. We need to do that, Penta freaking. We'll make that happen. Okay, Castle figures might need a restock here soon. But the, um, the people at the register are working on all the figures and making sure that we're restocking them more thoroughly. Instead of too deep, we're going four deep. So more figures, less time to restock. Should be good. There's a couple old cast sets hiding back there. I know Steven and Garrett built a couple the other week. Not a lot of castles. Some pirate stuff happening. We need more castle sets. That's, that's the... the take away from this case is what I'm saying. 
No time to play, Joe. I think Emmy's still here. I haven't heard that she's she's moved on. So. <laughs> yeah, Emmy, if you have a YouTube membership, then you double. You could probably put three figures in there. So. That's not going to too crazy. Yeah. Whatever you need to do, Emmy, let us know. So. Mark, can you ask Justin if he has processed my order? I can. Let's go check on Justin in the shipping area. Then we'll go look at Bonko. Wait a minute. Hold on. What's going on here? Is it is that eating Daniel salad? eating his salad? What time is it? It's 3.10. Daniel, come on. Lunchtime is around noon. <laughs> okay. You've been busy. Is Justin here? I see his sweater. He must be filling an order. We'll have to check back with Justin later. Let's quickly go say hi to Steven and Chris back here. What are you working on, Chris? Putting a poster in a package? Packaging up a poster. I don't know. Which side's better? Oh, my gosh. I got to say the minifigures. I don't know. The like, AT-AT's honestly, cool. I like that side better. This is more dynamic. Yeah. yeah. I like the figures, though. That's cool. Figures are cool. That would help me remember which ones are which. It's good. Steven, what you got back here? Oh, working on a big castle? We won't show it too much, but you're working on the Christmas train, I am train, right? working on, don't worry, we're going to save the pumpkin one. I am working on the new Christmas train. So, I have a theme. Mm -hmm. uh, I probably won't. Should we... Tell them or let it be a surprise. Yeah, Christmas train. You just tell me what you're going to do. Well, it's not going to be a Christmas train. We're actually gonna, I'm going to have a bunch of sleds, each one with a different theme oh, going down the snow. The that's Christmas cool. Train, I was going to do the Polar Express, but it's actually really generic looking. Mm. The train, it's like, yeah. it's just like a normal a basic old train. Very straightforward. So, yeah, we're going to be working on that. I'm going to have a bunch of sleds on top here, all racing down. We're going to have these pieces like this. Yeah. So, yeah, it's going to look really cool. Sounds That'll to be cool. me like this train's going to slay. <laughs> I like yeah, it. Right. Oh, uh, Morgan was asking, is that poster for sale? He wants to buy it. Oh. Of course, it would be hard to ship, but uh, I think we sell the poster for forty. Yeah. Uh, with the thing, with the you know, it's, the in sleeve. A, it's in like a really nice top loader sleeve. Yeah. Uh, but then shipping it gets more expensive. Shipping's gonna be maybe a roll or country. something. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm guessing like twenty, thirty dollars. Yeah, thirty. It's so big, unless we roll it up, we can roll it up for them. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. So send us an email, Morgan. We'll uh, we'll yeah. take care of you. Well, by the way, bro. Mm -hmm. I told the chat oh. I was going to buy a clone army customs. I did get one, and next got the week clone? I'll show you guys. I got a nice. clone, and I'll show you next week. It's okay. pretty cool. I on the Joy it. Building. Yeah, on the Joy Building. I made gotcha. a decision, yeah. Cool. Sounds good. Well, let's go check out Bonko. We've been hanging out here, checking out all the cool stuff back here. But let's go look at the Bonko section, see what we've got over there. A Mare Mad Studio says, Hi, I want to visit so bad. I'm in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is a little bit of a hike, but maybe you can make it down here one day because it's a pretty cool place to visit. Oh, and we're, Liam Bricks wants to see friends. We're right here. We need to look at friends. Here's a friend set that I like the Mobile Fashion Boutique. You got Stephanie helping people find their best look. It's only $9.99. Got a little scooter in a vehicle. That's pretty fun. A lot of good sets here. I like the uh, animal rescue, jungle rescue base here. That's pretty cool. It's got Mia, Andrea, and Olivia, and that cool friend's elephant. So many great friend sets. Still got a pretty good stock of them, too. They're, they're a little lighter than before. Christmas has already put a dent in them, but not that bad. Lego City Police Station. I saw an interesting comment from Morgan earlier. Let me see if I can stroll up back here. <laughs> For the Rare Set Collector's membership level, I should get my own floor in an apartment building in a Br Bricklanta. I uh, totally agree, Morgan. We may have to work that out once we get some of these buildings shuffled around. I know we were planning on remaking some of them. I think Friends is going to be taller. So we might have to have some specific buildings for specific uh, members that are certain tiers. I like that idea a lot. So. Or you own a building or a shop or something. That'd be pretty cool. Mark, I finally cracked and bought a Lego Tiger on Brickland. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I think that's worth doing. I was surprised to find out that Omega is day one on the Star Wars 2023 Advent calendar. Well, that's a spoiler for people, but yes, that sounds pretty cool. It's a good figure, too. I liked Omega as a character. Omega! She has an Australian accent. Brick Mom VA is here. Good to see you, Brick Mom VA. Thank you for joining us. Hope you're having a good Friday up in BA. We're looking at the Bionicle section now. There's quite a few cool builds in here, although it is a little lighter than I remember. 
I think some uh, barnacle sets and stuff have sold. Not all of them, though. We got some big ones. Like this giant Takanuva. Morgan needs his high-rise condo. Yeah, I think I we might have to work something out for Morgan. I mean, he, he's one of our top-tier members. I need my apartment in the Friends building. We could work that out, Lima Bricks. You're a member, too. Did you see my comments? I might have missed them, Dawson. If you would be so kind as to repost them, that would help me a lot. It's hard to scroll back on the new app. So. We're stocking OPC's Castle Figs right now. Oh, there we go, Flounder. If you don't have Castle Figs restocked in Atlanta, you always have Orlando down in Florida helping us out. So. <laughs> Flounder, and you did invite me. No, Grumpy Jay, he said Castle Figs, not Next to Night Figs. For your building, for your apartments in Brickland, I want a mountain ocean view. <laughs> we, we, I, I don't know about ocean. We don't have any ocean in Brickland yet. Maybe it's landlocked. I'm not sure. But we can get some sort of view for you. We'll have to figure out what tier gets what. Who is married at the store? I'm not sure. There's a guy. I think Chris is married. Randy's married. I think Justin's married, too. That's about it most of the younger employees aren't married yet joe is married that's true i remember joe is married he got married not too long ago i think it was last summer hi i was hoping you had lego dimensions video games at your store we sure do sarah we can go check on those that's a good good theme to look at here <laughs> Joe's married, you wacko. <laughs> Joe is definitely married. I remember that much. Next tonight's oh, I don't know, Liam Bricks. That's that's a tall uh, tall order for me. But we've got a couple dimensions starter packs here. You got the Wii U, which not many people play, if I'm not mistaken. But you've got the PS3. More people do that, and there might have even been some Xbox ones here. I think there's one back here. Xbox 360. So some of the older consoles, but they, you can definitely still find those floating around. Get some of the character packs here, too. These are all on the website, aclbrick.com. There's also a link in the description. So a number of them there. And there's even more individually sold here, but they're a little disorganized, and we don't have all of them out right now. But Mark, is there a used Ninjago Oni in the case? We can check on that. That's a great specific request. I just spent the most I've ever spent online <laughs> at a Lego store. Oh my goodness. Well, it's probably still a good time to do so. We do have some good sales going on. And if you join our rewards program, you get points on all your purchases, kind of like the Lego Insiders program. So let's look for a used Oni for pent up bricking. I don't see any yet. There's a big mech down there. There's a couple dragons and giant serpents. There's a centaur looking dude over here, but no Onis. I think we're out of Onis right now. Do we have any in the boxes though? Maybe not. No Onis in boxes either. Although I think this was from the same era maybe? Similar era maybe. Hmm. oni list in Ninjago today, I think. That's amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Sarah. Thank you for the request. We appreciate it. Looking for Ninjago 2019 spinners. I have no idea what ones came out in 2019 specifically. There's some spinners, but I think these are earlier waves than 2019. Those are $1.99 each. You got the Air Jitsu. I think these are a little 2015 too early. These are 2023, 2022. Hmm. These are legacy. So these are what, 2021? A little too recent. Hmm. We might not have specifically 2019 Ninjago either. Because tours are only 30 minutes now. Yes, we only have 30 minutes normally. We've gone through 20 of them already. But we still have plenty of time for requests. Any gaming character custom minifigures? GoPro, we, we have exactly what you're looking for over here. 
Over here, we might be out of stock of some of them because I'm not seeing all of them. Harley Quinn, Sinestro, Joker. These are all kind of DC characters. I wonder if we have any video games. Oh, here we go. Mario and Luigi down here. Got some G.I. Joe, Star Treks, Walking Dead, Power Rangers up there in the top right. A couple other movie characters. There's Marshmallow and Skull Trooper, Raven and Dark Voyager from Fortnite on the top row. So a couple video game-esque custom figures. One thing that's new is we've added all these Clone Army custom figures to our website and our store. So if you need any custom Star Wars figures, we got all those. Uh, link is going to be right in the description, GoPro. ATLbrick.com. Hey, Mark, you want to show off the tubes? Tubes? Oh, yeah, we could do that. Let's do that really quick. Got to go. Bye. See you, Lehman Bricks. Thanks for joining us. Are the custom figs online? They sure are pent up bricking. Got, uh, they have their own um, category, so look up minifigures and you should be able to find custom minifigures. That's the term, custom, for the custom printed ones. They are Lego minifigures, just printed. There's Emmy. How's it going, Emmy? Look at this barricade of cool colors that you have. This is awesome. This will keep you safe from annoying people I don't want to do that. like me. <laughs> oh, look at that Mario tube and white airplane pieces, pink bricks, green bricks, random bulk. There's Bionicle in here. Little Easter eggs and stuff. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Look at these cool windscreens too. It looks like ice. That is awesome. Check out the rock one right here. Oh, look at the rock one. They're hiding in the... Wow. This is going to be really cool for tours, guys. This is uh, this is pretty special. So they got all these tubes lined up to just make a nice uh, kind of wall section, almost like a cubicle for their workspace here. It's great. So. Almost all of it's for sale, too. So Yes. Extra storage. <laughs> so these are different categories that you can buy on our website, right? So... Like you got um, motorcycles you can get online, containers, dimensions discs, absolutely plants, um, bulk small tires, windscreens, plants, yeah. All that stuff we've got on our website. Such a cool idea. Oh, thank you, Jolly Joe. We, it looks really cool. I just briefly saw it today, but it's it, they just put that in. Lego City Police and Battle Brick. We can check those out. Love the tubes. Nice job. Oh, thank you, Brick Mafia. They're pretty cool. And if you ever visit the store, we should have a place on our website where you can schedule a tour of the basement. You can check them out yourself. But Battle Brick is right here. Um, Vogan and Austin have been working very diligently on this, restocking it and putting it on our website. So we got a bunch of tanks up on the top row up here. Tanks and other battle vehicles. Army gun trucks. Helicopters and lots of figures too. Plenty of Battle Brick minifigures ready to go. And a couple built ones if you want to get one that's already assembled and save time. Lighting kits, there we go. 26 likes. Oh, so close. Yeah, we only need, what is it, 35? Nine more likes. Oh, oh, less than that now. Eight likes. Oh, eight likes makes up. <laughs> Go for it, Garrett. Gotta like the video. All right. What are the requests that we're looking for here? Last week was the first since four or five weeks since I watched the store tour. Oh, there you go, Rob. Glad you're back. Come on, people. This is Geology Joe. Hey, I think it's within reach. You still got five more minutes. Totally doable. All righty. Any other specific requests? Oh, wow. I haven't watched it in several weeks. Can we see if Justin is back now? We can check. Oh, hey, Justin, is that you? Yeah. Hey, see. how's it going, Justin? Good. Nexus is that kind of question for you. Yeah. Did you get any orders processed that he had placed? It's a good question. Check your email. Okay. There you go. <laughs> you should get notification <laughs> soon, Nexus. Tech. I can't keep up. There you go. <laughs> I can't keep up with Poots. 
<laughs> he, he'll get to it as soon as he's able to. So. I go away for two months and so much has changed. Oh, yeah, Brad P. It is uh, me and Vogan were talking about this the other day. The store continues to evolve and progress. It's more and more organized each time. Right now, we've changed the layout out so that we've got this huge wall of product and the, the counters over here on the left now. Works a lot better. We've got the stairs to the basement. Makes it super easy to go down there and check it out. And, uh, yeah, we like it a lot. I think a lot of things are looking up. 34 legs. Oh, no. Hard for me to watch because I'm mostly on the night shift. Oh no, dust up the bricks. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Can we see the built modulars? Let's check them out, Jelly Joe. So you still have the poor yellowed stormtrooper helmet? We have it somewhere, Gonzo. I think it's over towards the red shirt. 35 likes? Oh no. Gosh dang it. Well, there's some built modulars for you. I do like that nice jazz club right there. You've also got the detective's office, diner, palace cinema. Starting at 375, 330, 500, 290, 350 for the Parisian, looks like. I believe that's a three. And then jazz club is 200. All 20% off, too. So if you need one. Those will do the trick. Yeah, I know, I know. Next tonight's blah, blah, blah. I was procrastinating. Okay, here, hold on. Got to get it so you can see me put it on here. There you go. All right. It has been a while since I had to put this on. I'm trying to choke myself out here. There we go. All right, let me get a sip of water for good luck. Still got a few more minutes. All right, let's head out there. <laughs> OBC opening date. I'm not 100% sure on the latest news. I think we were hoping for just sometime in December, maybe, maybe next year. What do you think, Chris? Uh, blame Joey. Blame Joey. <laughs> Hashtag blame Joey is the only hard evidence we have for when we know it's going to be open, so. Oh, there's also a corner garage over here. We are talking about modulars earlier. That's a good one, too. That's 380. Two different corner garages, in fact. And the Joker land. Very nice. There's a couple stormtroopers here. I think one of them had a slight yellowing to him. Yeah, a yellow arm. That's about it, though. Does this mean now we can blame Grumpy? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What do you think, Bricky Bobby? I think we can blame Grumpy, yeah. I think it's next nights are causing Orlando Bricko to not open. Yeah, because we can now hashtag blame Grumpy? That's what they're saying in the chat. So I think Grumpy J is helping out at Orlando Bricko and it's slowing everything down. I don't think, I don't think, so. I think it's Joey. <laughs> it's yeah. Joey? Hashtag blame Joey is still a thing. I can remember when they said April 2023 for OBC. Yeah, yep, yep. It's been a while. Stormtrooper has wrong time. Oh, yeah. Do you think they're good at aiming? They can't hit the, hit targets or guess what time it is. Blame Daniel. Uh-oh. I don't know, Nexus. Zach. I don't think that one's been said before. That's a new one. All righty. Well, we're almost to 30 minutes here. So it's, uh, I think it's time for us to wrap it up here. But thank you so much for joining us on this wonderful Friday tour of Atlanta Brick Co. We still have tons of stuff for sale, tons of Lego products, merch, sales. Check it all out on atlbrick.com. If you haven't liked and subscribed already, please do so. And go ahead and leave a comment. I see all those. Happy to reply to any questions you might have. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. We've got some uh, Between the Studs and Lego Masters reviews coming out this week.